previously on Resident Evil Revelations. It looks like somebody's found the Queen Zenobia. You have changed a bit. The time has come, Ryan. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. It's like all my worst enemies come back to haunt me. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. A unilateral solution, appears, will only create a new Veltrum, perhaps a dozen of them. Yes, there's the rub. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. I love how in that in in that flashback version of the end game cutscene, his mouth wasn't moving. It's like it's like the pre-rendered out of gameplay cutscenes were just taken directly from the 3DS version. Because you do notice a bit of a graphical difference between those and actual end game. But anyways, welcome back everybody. Ross here with more revelations with episode eight all on the line. It's been a couple days. Uh, where did we leave off with this? Oh, right, right, right. Morgan tried to nuke the ship with the satellite death laser. And we used the UAV to... Immediate containment is imperative. Far too much is at stake here. 1.17 a.m. BSAA headquarters. You are blinded. A humanist with no cause. It's a lost cause, Director O'Brien. <laughs> Feel free to cut the bullshit, Morgan. You're playing with fire again. But this time, you will get burned. Loose ends can only exacerbate the situation. Think twice, Director. Or you may regret it. Ah, oh boy. You never disappoint, Morgan. But once we have the truth, your mistakes will never be repeated. Dear O'Brien knows more than he lets on, I believe. Parker. Uh, Just what skeletons are in Morgan's closet? But yeah, the, even though the laser didn't blow us up, it was close enough that it definitely messed the ship up. And things are about to go bad. Oh uh, yeah, this ship is going down. Oh, she got a nice butt. I mean, I think a wetsuit makes anyone's butt look good. Just saying. I think so. Let's keep moving. We have to move fast. We don't have long. Okay. I don't think I can take this door, can I? Yeah, didn't think so. No secrets, huh? Cause there can be stuff in water, I know now. I don't think you actually have a time limit here. Piece of candy. Not getting a response. How are we on the ammunition? All right, we got two rare parts from blasting the rocket launcher on Skagnet and Rachel. So, yeah. We're going to be using handgun for a bit. Oh. I 
So it light up. What we got? So much handgun ammo. Just do a double check. There was nothing in here, right? Now that I actually have the time to look. There's a lot of goodies in here. Oh my god, it's all handgun ammo. Aha! Just had a hunch there might be one in there. No, I did not actually remember that one. That one really was just a hunch. <laughs> oh, we got a weapon box. Was that here before? Okay, infighter, bind, damage three. Okay. Yeah, firepower goes up closer you are with maximum boost of 70%. One, fire rate and load capacity. Maybe I should do damage on shotgun instead of load capacity. So you've got damage three on you. I've got damage four on the Magnum. Put more ammo in the Magnum. What am I doing? Okay, it does give it one more shot. Okay, damage four, damage three, damage two. Let's give you damage three. Bind up stopping power. No, days is different. Actually, I damaged two. I damaged three on you. Up your stopping power. But it hits multiple times, it doesn't. I don't think I'm fine with this setup. Alright, that's not my handgun. Alrighty then. Yes, yes, the ship is flooding, whatever. Out of water. Shit. We need to find another exit. Is it that same door I tried earlier? Oh no, this is a different path. God, give me something besides handgun bullets, game. You dick. Okay, we're probably supposed to go up. But, any goodies down here? More fucking handgun bullets. Suck my balls.
I have no idea where I'm going. Oh shit. But we can't allow the virus to contaminate the oceans. Jessica and I are heading for the Queen Zenobia. Just hang on. We'll contact you soon. Don't die in there. Chris out. Oh, we're back in the bilge. Wait, was this the right way? Am I headed for the engine room? Maybe I should head back and check that ladder. here is gone. Okay, maybe that was the way I was supposed to go. The, no, no, Jill, no. It's not what I wanted, sweetie. Oh, yeah, this was a... Oops. Well, got some shotgun shells. Alright. Well, sorry for that waste of time, everybody. Oh god. Where am I? No, wait. This is... Fuck. Ah. I'm so turned around. Breathe. I don't know if it's instant regaining your air or if you have to wait a second or not. I have no idea. That box is taunting me, knowing I can't get it. Well, there were those parts we saw down here that were out of reach before, so... <laughs> Finally. Ah, uh, yeah, here again. I guess this is our escape route. But hold on. Because I know we saw some goodies before that I want. Yeah, there's one right there. And there was another one in, um... It was that room that had the uh, wheel and you see the first steam vent, right? I believe that was it. Just leave me alone. Be cool. We're just having a nice leisurely swim. We're all friends here. Ooh, more shotgun shells. Yes, thank you. I will partake. Oh yeah, we found a weapon. This is that dead end room we found a weapon in. Was it a machine gun? I don't remember. Alright, back down we go. Let's see here. Yeah, there's no other paths for me to go from here, huh? Fuck off! I don't think they can get you on the surface. If I remember correctly. Bilge block. The map isn't detailed enough for me to make stuff out. Where did I fucking come from?
Yeah, engine room's my only path. Oh, fuck off. Oh, come on! I'm getting combo! Assholes. Oh, does breaking out of their underwater grab kill them? I don't think it did that in the original, did it? It was a bit of chaos, but it did look like Jill popped out her knife. She shivs him in the face now. Yeah, I don't seem to have taken damage. I do kind of remember from the original, I think if a creeper grabbed you underwater, it just like drains your oxygen, your air faster. But it didn't do actual health damage. They just try to drown you. Where are we going? Fuck off. I am so turned around right now. Wait, this is heading back to the engine room. Yeah, it's a dead end. And this doesn't connect anywhere, huh? Just another air pocket. Yep. Fuck you! Probably don't need to be hitting all of these. I remember Jill being able to hold her breath for a good minute. Yeah, here was the room with the other part. So I had to go this way. Nothing floating up here, huh? Hi. Yeah, she stabs that bitch. Is it fucking dead or is it just stunned? No goodies this way, huh? I believe that's the bulkhead we shot earlier. Alright, through the window we go! I just don't want to miss any sweet, sweet, sexy upgrades. No, that door does work. Oh, I can go this way? So is this just another air pocket? Yep. Saw something. Diving back down for that. Ugh. Ugh. All right, you get stabbed too. Were there three in here, or does that just stun them and not kill them? I think it just stuns them. Usually after an enemy dies, you can just go through it like it's not even corporeal. Hey, 
Hey, I can finally go through here. Oh, hell yeah. Oops, yep, come on. Come on. Need all those bullets. Now I'm wondering if this was the way I'm supposed to go again. And if I should have checked up there first in the other room. Oh no, this is a shortcut back. Okay. So grab the optional loot. And now we head back to the bilge elevator. And if there's a bunch of creepers swimming around in there, that will confirm that we're only stunning them, not killing them. Swim as fast as you can, Miss Valentine. Yep, we're only stunning them. Ah, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I don't know you! It'd be nice if it showed them. Okay, um... Good lord, which way is which? Okay, we're headed back to the casino. Alright, yeah, that would be the quickest way back to the main hall. Yeah, it looks like I've pretty much opened all the locks except that trident door, which I obviously can't right now. Because I don't have that key. Are we full on shotgun? Nice. Alright. That's a lot of shotgun shells. Hell yeah. Fuck. Okay, just a creeper. I remember those new octopus monsters. I was like, oh god, are they gonna be... Can those things work underwater as well? I'm told they're called blisters. I guess with the way they just kind of like grow on walls, like gross ass pimples. Oh, right. Can I finally grab Booby Magnum shot? Did I already get that? Alright, show me my new goods. Damage 4. Fire rate 3. Long magazine 3.
but this can only be used on rifle and handgun. Get you buffed. Two days. Fire rate. Now the Magnum can be fired pretty quick, can't it? I don't really need fire rate, do I? On it? Okay, we got fire rate two on you. We can give you more ammo. Actually, yeah, load two, load two, load three. Close hit. Fire rate. Damage four, damage four. Damage three. Days and charge shot. with stopping power Okay, okay. Time for some truth bombs. Hear that? There. there. <clears throat> throw. You almost missed the party. Or not yet. I guess we have another section first. <clears throat> Alright, I think we swapped to Chris and Jessica fighting our way to the casino, huh? Am I remembering correctly? Or not? It's been so many years. I mean, I still love this game, but I can't remember every part of it. A little bit earlier. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous with the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay. See you soon. Chris out. That's it. Queen Zenobia. Oh, jeez. More like what's left of her. Stay sharp. There's something out there. Wait, we have a turret section? Oh, I do not remember this at all! Remember this at all. Going around, hang on. Like, I remember this monster, but I don't remember this part here. This encounter with it. Are there, Jesus? Oh, 
Fucking Christ! Big ass ocean centipedes, I don't like them. They actively do not want us on that ship. We need a good spot to board the Zenobia. Fuck you, Malcotus. I thought you guys were only at that boss fight at the end. We have a promise Spoiler, we'll be seeing them again. Great. A cruise, just the two of us. Only the whole thing is sinking. Not just the two of us, it's a double date. Jill and Parker getting it on. You stopped the Regia Solis. Now I will reveal what I know. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secrets she keeps. What secrets? Consider this. First, why did it take till now to find the Queen Zenobia? How was it able to float around the Mediterranean undetected? It wasn't magic. I have a thing in that one too. Second, I don't remember. Why did all traces of Veltro vanish after the So they do cover that. Attack? Why don't you tell us, huh? huh? And third, why is someone trying to use the Regia Solus to destroy the Zenobia? The answer to those questions will lead you to an inconvenient truth. You were to have found it, and that. God damn it, Jessica! What was he about to say that you didn't Jessica, want us to know? Why did you fire? To protect our people. Isn't that our job? Don't you dare die! What? Why? Why play the part of Veltro? What do you mean? Find the truth about Terra Gracia. Twenty-three percent in S rank. Okay, I'll take it. I did not remember that segment at all. Ate through my fucking herbs. Yeah, man, Jessica, a little quick on the trigger finger there. Maybe, maybe uh, Raymond knows something that uh, she don't want being said. Hmm. After all, she and Raymond. Raymond's FPC. Jessica used to be FPC. Maybe she still is. What a terrible loss. The ship doesn't have much longer. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched the Queen Samiramis. So I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sinking. Jessica, you with me? Yeah. Well, a little friendly partner swapping should keep us on our toes. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. You two buy us some time. Got it. Jill, this works anywhere, even underwater. Should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Also, I've marked off all the possible locations for the lab. <laughs> he never got the hint. What a tag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. 
She literally threw herself on him when that rumble happened. It's like, for fuck's sake, Jess, you thirsty bitch. Jill, not that way. We gotta find the lab. Jill, not that way. All right. So this was all Raymond's doing? No. I think we've only heard half the story. There's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense yet. <gasps> ah, we're fine. A backtracking we go. Hurry, we can cut through the bilge to get to the lab. Careful. The water is infested with infected. Roger that. Why did I go the long way around? Oh. Alright, full on rifle ammo. I am pretty well stocked now. So yeah, now we backtrack our way to that trident door. Because, yeah, Chris has the key to that. I remember. Oh, I fuck off. Stab. <laughs> Bitch. Enjoy the view of my sweet ass on the way out, bitch. Chris probably enjoying the view. Fuck you. Wait, when did he get ahead of me? The lab's just up ahead. How, how, how did you how did you do that? When? Where? Slow the fuck down. Everybody super sonic race sound. Try to keep your feet right on the ground. Jill, try using this. I found that key on the Samiramis. The ships are exactly the same. But the lab should be this way. And they are. Here we are in the obligatory Resident Evil laboratory. Probably find some goodies in here. And maybe a handprint? No? No? No filthy f Cheeto finger stains? I haven't had Cheetos in forever. God, I want Cheetos now. I think I'm getting a bag on my next shopping trip. Researching the deep sea virus. Montpelier Marine University conducted research via unmanned submersible during the fourth expedition to the Kermadec Trench. At 9,000 meters, a new type of super deep-sea predatory fish was discovered. 
The deep seas have a unique effect on living organisms, but this creature, in addition to the usual tolerance to high pressures, displays an unbelievable degree of motility and a ferocity not usually found at such depths. What surprised us after examining the fish was that these unique traits were not native to the fish's biology, but were caused by a viral infection. Owing to the unfathomable nature of this virus, we decided to give it the name The Abyss. We will continue to research it. We must find out why it takes the large fat and water reserves of deep sea fish, which are suited to the high pressure, low oxygen, low temperature depths, and turns them into high density bone and muscle structures that are not usually found in organisms who live in deep water habitats. If we can successfully develop a working BOW, we will have moved research in this field light years ahead. It is important to note blood transmission of the virus happens in 99.76% of all cases to date. In rare cases, some test subjects do not become infected if they take the virus orally, perhaps because it is diluted. We will do all we can to improve the effectiveness of this virus and redouble our efforts. One other new type development report. As our genetic mapping of the new virus abyss neared completion, an international pharmaceutical company offered the assistance of their research branch via their contacts in an unnamed country. They proposed combining the abyss with a weaponized virus called the T-virus to make our virus more suited for research and experimentation. The new recombinant virus, which utilizes the DNA of deep sea based organisms as its base, should make it easier to create BOWs. We have successfully broken down one of the barriers to the creation of bioorganic weapons. The T-virus includes human genetic material and is capable of cross-infection. However, the speed at which the abyss triggers transformation is so rapid, it breaks down the cellular structure of the host. Fortunately, this problem is overcome by adjusting the rate at which infection occurs in the host's body. There is one side effect, however, that we did not anticipate. While cellular breakdown is no longer a problem, half of the host's solid mass, including musculature and bones, is liquefied during infection. The host's body becomes highly malleable, allowing it to attack its target from unexpected places. Some hosts have shown the ability to secrete their liquefied bony material from their hands and feet, thus giving their appendages sharp protective coverings. Human hosts such as these have been designated with the codename Ooze. Such hosts only retain humanoid form with much effort, and while they can sustain this form, they lack all visible resemblance to their former selves. Former selves. With each experiment and every infected host, we draw ever closer to perfecting the virus. As far as the bioweapon industry is concerned, the product itself is useless until a vaccine that can prevent infection is also developed. We will need much more data from clinical trials for that to happen. Deriving antibodies from a new test subject will require from a few test subjects will require time and luck. I recently heard something, some mumblings from the higher-ups about a man-made pandemic. I suppose that's a business euphemism for bioterrorism. Jesus Christ. How many grenades? Alright, you can carry nine fucking grenades in story mode. I didn't pick up any new parts, did I? No. The hell are these? Are these weapons you get in the story from like Chris or whatever? Or are these like achievement stuff? Because if the first, I'd be fine with using them on this playthrough. But if it's like achievement or like special edition stuff, I don't know. I'll just stick with what I got. Let's be loyal to our weaponry. All right, anything else of interest in here? Seems like we're pretty good in that regard. Lock. Looks like a fingerprint recognition system. Okay. Now what? Do something in here now? Ah. Registering fingerprint. Fingerprint registration complete. So are we cool now?
That was a bit pointless. Please enter the sterilization room one at a time. Ooh. Come to mama. Ooh, customization. Seven shells here. Let's go check out this part. Because I remember what happens in that sterilization room. Narrow. Ooh, wait, is that the... Shotgun scatter range becomes more narrow. Yeah, boy! We've got ten handgun bullets in here. And seven shotgun shells in here. Let's rock and roll. Not a lot of room in here. Forget where it comes from. Ugh. Dodge, Shale. Oh god, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, that was unfair. Come on. Okay, now we have room to fight. Ooh, what's this? New toy? Lightning Hawk. for some health refill. Okay, at least they're slow as piss. Slower than I remember it being. Where is it? Stunned for a physical attack, huh? Damn. Ah, uh, you. Oh, I missed. Whew. It's okay. I'm fine. So yeah, fuck that thing very much. Oh, I can't go back and grab that ammo. Shit. Fishies. 
It's a big fish. I mean, fish do get... A lot of fish can get pretty fucking huge. So, another one of these. No items, it looks like. So yeah, sword and shield zombie. Ain't that fun. These doors, were they this janky in the original? Fucking elevator doors, man. Hey, handsome. Oh, don't look away from the camera. Oh, he's shy. I try to hide these facilities on a cruise ship. It makes a good cover. Who would ever suspect it? Good point. I hope we can find out what the hell's going on. Gross. I think this ends the chapter, huh? Virus is somewhere in this research area. So this is the secret of Zenobia. And we have found the abyss. Now then, how to destroy it. How to get rid of Veltro's little science experiment. That will have to be revealed on episode 9. So, that does it for now. Until next time everybody, have a good evening, and take care of yourselves.